Hi, this is Matthew Robert Payne, and this is uh, an interview with, uh, it's called uh, Visiting John Lennon in Heaven. <coughs> so, first of all, I get an image of a place in his house, and uh, it's a professional uh, recording studio with, uh, with a really long sound desk and uh and uh actual booths uh to record and sing in and play instruments um and it's in his house um in the actual uh booths uh or <coughs> behind the uh, recording desk there's a picture of uh jesus on the cross um, and this one has got a loincloth on, um, and uh, it's got the two thieves on the cross. Uh, it's a big picture uh, behind uh, where they sit. Um, and uh, in the uh, sound booth, uh, it's got a picture of uh, Jesus uh, down at the water's edge at Galilee uh, asking Peter. Uh, to join him uh, as a disciple, where he said, follow me. <coughs> <coughs> Peter is uh, turning and leaving his boat behind. And uh, John informs me that uh, that uh, motivates him to leave everything he had and uh, follow Jesus. and. Uh, that's uh, the theme of his music. Uh, so uh, that's uh, one of the rooms uh, in his house. And uh, there's actual um, recording studios in heaven uh, that the artists go and collaborate together in. Uh, but uh, John uh, does a lot of his music uh, recording uh, in this studio in his house. And uh, yeah. So uh, what are you doing in heaven? Um, I'm a musician in heaven, Matthew, um, but uh, I, um, I collaborate uh, with a lot of artists in heaven. Uh, I invite them uh, round to my house and we write music together sometimes. Uh, they write a song and I uh, edit uh, their music. <coughs> <coughs> I edit their music and I edit their lyrics. Sometimes I write a song and uh, they edit my music and they edit uh, my lyrics. Um, with uh, the Beatles, me and, uh, me and uh, the other main guy in the Beatles, um, Matthew doesn't remember uh, who it was. Um, used to he used to write uh, a song and i used to edit the song and uh, we'd release it as a beatles song um uh, george harrison um we'd release it as a beatles song and then uh he'd write a song and we'd edit the song and uh, we'd release it as a Beatles uh, uh, song. But uh, Paul McCartney, his name was. Um, so um, when uh, people are speaking uh, through you, uh, you need uh, the knowledge uh, that they're speaking about uh, to uh, be known. And because Matthew couldn't think of Paul McCartney's name, 
uh, I had uh, trouble speaking that through him. Um, and it's just uh, a thing that uh, you learn uh, when you're bringing another voice from another entity uh, into um, into being. So Paul McCartney used to uh, write a song and uh, give me the song and I'd edit the lyrics and, and the music and then I'd write a song and I'd give him my song and he'd edit the So I, I work best uh, with uh, collaboration um, and I did that with Yoko too, uh, with my wife and uh, she worked with me. Um, <coughs> Imagine was co-written by uh, Yoko and me and people don't uh, realize that Imagine was uh, written by Yoko. Um, they just think that I wrote it. Um, and that's just typical of the world, isn't it? Um, so I collaborate with a lot of people. Um, how does that uh, work with the competition? Well, um, you still get uh, first place uh, for the collaboration, but both of you uh, get first place. Um, and uh, so it doesn't, uh, it doesn't dissuade people from collaborating um, on songs uh, because uh, they still get an award. Um, so um, how have I gone in the competitions? Well, I've won a few um, and uh, I've got uh, in the first five places a number of times. I'm pleased to say that uh, my contemporary songs have always uh, performed uh, better, but I have uh, had some worship songs come in the top five. And <coughs> <coughs> and you're always really proud uh, when one of your worship songs get in the top 10. Uh, I've had a number of uh, songs in the 150 mark too. Um, you've got to realise there's a lot of musicians uh, in heaven uh, that you're competing against. <laughs> and uh, it's really hard to beat people like Michael Jackson or King David that have been there uh, 2,000 years. and other musicians that are extremely talented. I really enjoy um, writing music. Uh, I really enjoy producing music. Um, what's uh, amazing for a musician is that, uh, and this has been said in Michael Jackson's book and in other books, um, but everyone who produces a song and puts it in the competition each week, um, their song gets played to the whole of heaven uh, during the week a couple of times. Uh, so the people in heaven uh, vote on the songs and vote between one and ten. And uh, all the votes are collated and that's how uh, a song becomes number one. Well, uh, if you're just a little person, if you're just a musician off earth that uh, recorded a song in heaven, uh, you get uh, millions of people listen to your song. And that's something as a little musician that's never been popular on earth, that's something that never happens. So um, that encourages musicians to always be entering their music in competitions. And um, the 150 mark is the mark that uh, everyone's striving for besides the top five, they're going for the top 150. Um, and as soon as the little musician gets his song in the top 150, they're beside themselves <laughs> with, with joy. Um, 
and uh, so um, heaven is just an amazing place uh, to uh, build uh, people up. Um, so um, I still uh, play some of my songs uh, from Earth uh, in heaven, um, and uh, but uh, people largely enjoy uh, my ballads uh, from uh, heaven. Everyone uh, is growing in heaven, and uh, and my music has evolved. Um, I'm uh, I often uh, <coughs> select musicians who have got in the top hundred and fifty uh, for a week. Um, I listen to their song and I like their song. And uh, I'll um, I'll contact them via the database that was discussed in book one, and I'll contact them on the musicians database, and say um, I've got some suggestions for a twenty percent change of your song if you want to re-enter it in the competition, and uh, they look at my suggestions and they implement it. And uh, we improved the song, and sometimes uh, uh, the song uh, gets uh, voted uh, higher up in the competition. Um, and uh, then I uh, choose those people to write a song with and collaborate with. And so often uh, artists uh, get my attention uh, by getting in the top 150. Um, each week. Um, Jesus is uh, so much uh, part of my life. <coughs> Sorry, this cough is, um, is really worrisome. As I was saying, uh, Jesus is uh, before Matthew rudely interrupted me with uh, his cough. Uh, Jesus is uh, so much part of my life and uh, that really affects uh, the worship uh, part of uh, your uh, music. Uh, writing uh, worship music is like um, a form of uh, worship itself and uh and uh it's uh it's really helpful well really needful uh certainly uh, uh much needed compulsory to have a good relationship with Jesus to write worship music. And uh, as you're learning things and you're growing and you're learning different dimensions of your faith, you can write uh, those experiences and those lessons in your contemporary songs and you can write your journey in your contemporary songs. But uh, the end result of your journey uh, can be found in your worship and uh, it's uh, really one level of music that uh, is the epitome of uh, music uh, in heaven at least. Um, I'm not sure that they play music in hell. Um, what do you like about heaven? I like uh, the, the fact that uh, when you make a commitment to Jesus on earth, uh, he honors that. Um, I, uh, when I was with Yoko, I gave my life to Christ um, and uh, she mocked me for it and I fell away from church. Uh, then when I died, um, Jesus met me outside of heaven 
and um, I just said to myself, I wish, I know I deserve to go to hell, uh, but I wish I could meet Jesus that the Christians talk about before I go and Jesus appeared and I fell on my knees. Jesus said, can I sing you a song? And I said, yes, master. And he said, imagine there's no hell below us. And he took me, imagine there's no heaven. And he took me for a tour of heaven over an hour. And then um, he said, imagine there's no hell below us. And as that lyric played, it stretched time and took me for a tour of hell for an hour. And uh, then he sang, imagine we live in an earth with no greed and, uh, and all the rest of the lyrics. And he took me for a tour of the future earth. At the end of the song, he said, where do you want to spend eternity? And I said, with you, master. And he said, well, enter in, you've done enough. And um, I like the grace of God. I like... Uh, the fact that he uh, remembered that I'd given my life to him and uh, and uh, I like uh, the opportunity in heaven. I love the fact that uh, Jesus has given me the opportunity to uh, grow and explore and uh, become a better person. Um, I do write songs by myself. Um, I write songs uh, uh, by myself and I release them uh, by myself and I go in a certain position uh, in the competition and then uh, people write into the music database and suggest changes and then I'll take the time to collaborate with another artist and improve my song. Um, and uh, so that's what's so handy about the music database is all the musicians uh, work together to improve each other's songs. I've uh, had a song, uh, collaborated with uh, King David before, and I've collaborated with Michael Jackson uh, before. Uh, and uh, and I hope one day to collaborate with Elton John. That would be wonderful if he could make it to heaven. Just remember your prayers for uh, people of the world uh, really count towards God. Uh, people were praying for me. Uh, you know, at my death, uh, people were praying uh, for me. There was uh, millions of people praying for my salvation uh, during my life. And uh, that all helped uh, to uh, get me into heaven. Um, so I really enjoy uh, the lack of uh, financial... <laughs> <coughs> pressure in heaven I know we keep on repeating it but Jesus was uh, really uh, right when he said uh, he can't serve two masters um, you can either serve God or mammon and you're wise on earth if you choose to serve God and you choose not to serve mammon. Matthew made that choice years ago and life is, uh, even though he's got a mental illness and he struggles with his uh, health, uh, life has been uh, fairly easy for him since he made that choice and his finances have been fine. Um, so, it's uh, really uh, handy uh, to have such freedom uh, with no pressure to perform, no pressure to pay the rent, uh, 
pay for bills, uh, pay for clothing. Uh, I've got some wonderful clothing. Uh, pay pay for restaurants, pay for uh, internet bills or technology bills. Or uh, we've got all the gadgets. We've got things like iPads in heaven, and we've got uh, computers in heaven, and we've got uh, all the modern. Uh, fancy things are just a little bit more advanced than earth and uh, it's uh, really uh, an amazing place the people of uh, heaven are just amazing um, the love uh, of the people in heaven is just um, off the charts. Uh, people, total strangers, will uh, become uh, closer friends in a couple of conversations than some of my closest friends ever were on earth. Um, and there's not a lack of uh, people that want to be your friends, not because I'm a star. <laughs> <coughs> not because I'm a famous singer uh, because uh, that's how people are in heaven they just love people they love people for the gifts that are in them they love them for who they are and they love with such a pure unselfish unevil lack of uh, greed and selfishness and envy and bitterness, all of those uh, emotions just don't exist in heaven. And it's such a joy to have conversations about other people that are only uplifting. And it's good to be with a group of people when they switch the subject to be talking about another person that they're not gossiping, that they're building person up. And they say, have you seen Matthew lately? Have you seen his latest book? That's amazing. You know, um, I'll have to uh, take him aside and ask him if I can write the forward in his next book. Oh yeah. He's getting really amazing these days. He's, He's uh, really improving. He's really challenging me in so many ways. He says, yeah, that last book when he talked about holiness, I was just gobsmacked. Uh, having conversation like that uh, with people talking about a famous author in heaven, maybe not this Matthew, maybe another Matthew. And conversations flow like that in heaven. And they're building people up and they're encouraging people. And uh, everyone in heaven uh, builds you up and encourages you and knows your giftings and knows your abilities and uh, uh, just uh, uh, speaks to your big points and your good points and uh, blesses you and uh, build you up in any way that they can. There's so many people uh, learning in heaven. There's so many people um, growing in heaven. Uh, heaven, the whole of heaven is growing together and we're all on a trip and we're all on an experience together. And uh, um, I uh, imagine talked about a perfect world and uh, heaven is that uh, perfect world. Um, and I so look forward to imagine coming to earth and uh, I would just love to see earth operate uh, the same as heaven. <laughs> and we're promised in scripture it's gonna happen one day. Um, and uh, heaven is going to invade earth and earth is, 
is going to be ruled by Jesus and uh, there's going to be no money and things are going to be free and the people are going to be free and uh, there'll be justice and there'll be righteousness and there'll be holiness and the, there won't be any more abuse and there won't be any more death and <coughs> well people will live longer what is your message for us i want you to imagine changing your world somehow what would you do to change your world what change uh, can you make in your life uh, to turn your world into something like imagine speaks about can you become less religious about the way that you talk with people can you become less judgmental with people can you become more caring and considerate and compassionate with people can you become more caring and and be a blessing to people how can you change to become more like jesus with people how can you uh, benefit the world and bring it into an alignment <coughs> with what god wants from you matthew has written uh, two books before this one visiting saints biblical saints in heaven um, i encourage you to uh, get uh, the two books before this one and uh and read them and take all the advice and uh, do uh, the research and read the books that are suggested and make a change uh, with your life. Uh, make a positive change in your life um, and uh, do the work that's required to become Christ-like. Uh, there's a book written by uh, Matthew called Influencing Your World for Christ. Yeah, there's a book by Matthew called Influencing Your World for Christ. Get that book, buy that book, and implement that book in your life. Uh, have a positive impact uh, on the world. Uh, there's another book by Matthew called 13 Tips to Becoming the Light of Christ. Buy that book, implement that book, put that book uh, to use in your life. The world is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. And uh, for you to manifest, you've got to become a son of God. And Romans 8, 14 says, those who are led by the spirit, these are the sons of God. So you've got to learn how to be led by the spirit and directed by the spirit each day. And uh, you've got to uh, uh, change your world. Uh, and uh, first of all, before you change the world, you've got to change yourself. Um, uh, Michael Jackson had a good song called Man in the Mirror. And uh, if you want to make a world a better place, take a look at yourself and change yourself. Um, so... Uh, my advice uh, to you is uh, to uh, develop the ability to have the mind of Christ, have the ability to walk in this Holy Spirit, uh, 
develop the ability to talk back and forth to Jesus, uh, develop the ability to have visions and go to heaven and talk to saints, uh, develop your intimacy with Jesus, uh, grow in your relationship with Jesus, grow in your love for the world, grow in your love for people. Uh, there's so many things that you can do. You don't have to be dormant and sit and not grow. There's room for growth every day. Uh, so um, uh, if you really like my interview, uh, go to Amazon and write a review and say I really liked the interview with John Lennon. God bless.